Press left trigger to toggle. Man, it's the last thing I needed. Give me one moment, gang. Hey yo, what's good gang? It's your boy Illuminati15 And you have just tuned in to DPG Gaming You know the fucking vibes, baby So we here It's finally that time Harry Potter Well, not Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy The game of controversy But for me This is a dream come true, baby This is a dream come true some of us have been waiting for this game to come out for 15 years. This game has been in development for seven. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the people in the chat right now. Make sure you guys hit that, that poll. I'm trying to figure out what house I should start off. Should I go with my favorite house, which is Gryffindor? Or I was placed in Hufflepuff, and I do believe Hufflepuff is my, home, my house. But right now, Gryffindor is winning with 100% of votes, so let's get into it. <laughs> That's my stuff. A high fidelity rendering mode favoring resolution and graphical quality, a performance frame rate mode favoring performance. Low fidelity. Congratulations, well done. You've linked the Harry Potter fan club account to your WB Games account and connected them to Hogwarts Legacy. Hufflepuff, unicorn hair, my wand is unicorn hair, vine 13 and 3 quarter inches, quite bendy. Your game experience. Let's go. Let's claim our... Um,
We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Terms begin on September 1st. Primarily, supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has gracefully um, agreed to allow Professor Alazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely. Professor Weasley. Customizations! Alright, so we're gonna move the chat over here real quick. Matter of fact, the chat's still here, but I'm going to just chat off right now for right now. Check out the presets.
I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very... A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. My rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Looks like it's gonna be interesting. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. 
Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ramrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ramrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin. That's him. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We did. Oh, shit. Right off the back. Dragon warfare. Port key. Said I hate I hate having a job missing this. Right? I gotta learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. This must be the the mysterious cave I'm under Hogwarts. Better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. Oh, man. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. My character look fire. Illuminati the 15th. Gangster. Alright, that is not Hogwarts. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever Hello, it was Cameron, meant to lead Hogwarts to. Legacy. It's pretty lit right now. Hop on to it. You go watch it. And wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. 
Where do you suppose your wife got the portkey that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Okay. Focus on the center. Gangster, y'all seen the wand flick? Oh shit, that shit is tough. Excellent. It says use your camera to select active targets. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick or the same with the camera. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. No, let, me <laughs> let me chill, let me chill. Oh, up there. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! Repero! Repero, that's gangster. Everybody in the projects wish they could do this shit instead of waiting for Nightshare to fucking fix your sink or your toilet or the elevator. Almost there. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm, perhaps. 
once our host was a noted seer. Interesting. <laughs> Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Did crystallize stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! <laughs> How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Are we in Gringotts? The I Goblin don't... Bank? Just a moment. <laughs> Porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Facts, bro, facts. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Our private entrances to the bank common and green gods. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. Hmm? The 
armband that god was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw in the Forky container. No, the darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. That's <laughs> wicked. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Revelio. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos.
Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Ah, shit. Yo, 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 yo this is from the soul! This giving me... Yo! Potato. This is giving me, um, um... First movie! Chess man, a uh, wizard's chess scene. Bow, 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 Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Protego that nigga, yeah! Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. align these statues. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Lumos. I need to get them all to stand at once. Revelio. Protego. Lumos. Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once?
Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. That looks like the arches as in the uh, fucking um in the department of mystery. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Facts, bro. It looks like it has references from all the games. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Like Dumbledore had in his office. I wonder. A memory. Order the Phoenix vibes, baby! Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. Fives. And the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What just happened? what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can i see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed but could never miriam and perhaps george Died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ran rock. Oh. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found. 
Lira and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh. Oh! I have no patience for traitors. Oh, I definitely no. see it's gonna be a goblins versus wizards Where thing were we? with this storyline. I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Okay, we have a possible goblin. That's tough. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? Facts, bro. This shit got me like... It can't be. Like I'm watching a new Harry Potter movie, bro. Like... Those who set up the pensive... Like I don't want to miss nothing. And the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come, we have a sorting ceremony to get to. All right, no doubt, bro. I'm gonna be streaming this for like a week straight, so it don't matter. <laughs> The music is loud. Let's go! 15 years in the making. All right. Before we go anywhere else with the game, I want to say I understand there's a lot of controversy surrounding this game with the boycott, the LGBTQ community. But at the same time, this is a once in a lifetime experience. So on that note, I want to appreciate everybody that came to my stream. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and this is why we are doing this today. Let's get into it. I'm no expert, but that seems more. Let's go! Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must. I just didn't like that. I didn't see a fucking um option for height for the characters. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I right, no doubt, bro. Invite your friends. to meet the headmaster. Fig, 
nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, pig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Hmm. Home sweet home. Hogwarts Diner Hall. Professor Weasley, need one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hmm. Should we go with a house from the wizarding world.com? Yo, I'm a Gryffindor in the heart, bro, but I don't want to be disrespectful to the wizarding world. But I do want that. Like, I do want that motherfucking house robe, bro. I want that Gryffindor house robe. <sighs> choices, choices, B. You know what? I'm going to stay true to this shit and I'm going to go Hufflepuff. I'm gonna go Hufflepuff. I'm gonna go Hufflepuff because I told the gang if I was able to get it early, I was gonna get the Hufflepuff. I was gonna go into Hufflepuff, so let's go. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be Hufflepuff! <laughs> you can't say shit, Gary! That black and gold, baby. Yo, RIP to my nigga Cedric, bro. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been canceled. Oh. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... 
Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Puff or puff? It's an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. This is what I find interesting. A oh, Weasley as a professor that's lit. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. Wonder what her connection to Ron <laughs> and Jenny is. Honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first. Yeah, I don't like the Hufflepuff entrance. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Top of the morning, sipping a little tea. Shabala shabala haya. Apple. Bite the apple. Yes, bite the apple. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to live in Hufflepuff. This shit, this shit looks mad claustrophobic. Mmm, that's tough. This shit gives me Lord of the Ring vibes, no cap. Like Frodo would like love to live here. And Belbo Baggins. Big butter biscuits. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, hello. Ah, homie she looked just like Hedwig. Isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am 
I'm a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... being that far behind. I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Father's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skiing once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room.
trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Fire. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see. Revelio. Isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Yeah. And here we are, 
quite the time saver. These stairs lead to... to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. Rebellion. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. My cousin is laughing. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Aurans. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you.
and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelio. Rebellion. My siblings and I have all been brought up in this house. Tradition in my town. Revelio. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, oh, 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 including oh. your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls.
Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. Could be. Let's get you back to your frame, Miss Lamont. Lamont stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Lumos. Eleven twenty one. Handy too. resource indeed, a your field guide. Explain, I'd please. most please be included. I think there were dogs here today. <gasps> Lumos. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Rebellion. I'd rather oh. start at Hogwarts oh. than the Griffin. Revelio. Uh. Uh. 
Honora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Rebellion. everything I needed to know. Rebellio. Entire family has been forced to drink half a cup. Rebellion.
Let's go! Y'all peep that? Leather winter cloak. Let's go. Revelio. Rebellion. Stripped school robe. Stripe, let's go. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Bob Watts survives the reign of this headmaster. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Wouldn't be sure. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. <laughs> Rebellion. I've always said so. travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. Stupid. 
That's definitely a weekly. Professor Hackett, perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get no. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales. Let me check the settings. Nah, nah, you gotta put it in New Zealand. My bad. Yeah, that's how I got it to work. Huh? Oh, let me see. It just says New Zealand on my shit. It doesn't give me a time zone. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell. Yeah. Save me from. You don't have to change it. You just change the the location. Death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. I believe so. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think um, yeah, your PlayStation doesn't have a settings for location. One thing uh, I've learned as an unspeakable is the value you gotta go to of system. simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Oh, no. And then look for location because I don't I don't really know how to how to mess around with the PS5. With something small. Yeah. Leviosa. Nah, it's dope. Like all oh, frib, you go into the game and it's like. Like five minutes into the game, there's already a storyline going on. Now, let's try something a little long. Yeah, that's look tough, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna hold you if they have if they make a multiplayer for the game and it's just like shit like that, like us fighting like big ass magical creatures, people would fucking play that shit. I don't know, they haven't spoken on it yet. Let us begin with the basic cost. And there's mad people mad right now because for the PS4 and the Xbox One is not coming out till April. Yeah, it's only new, um, new gen. Yeah. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak Levioso. Now, the basic well. That's... All right. That's tough. Very good. Leviosa's like the a stun, bro. That's wicked. We'll start with you two. Duelist. Slither K! Slither K! Now, I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. Bow, 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 bow! Yeah, Let's pussy! I do. Pussy! <laughs> Leviosa! <laughs> this is tough, bro! You give as good as you get. <laughs> Snake ass, sing it. Slither K all day, bro. We'll fuck with Slytherins over here. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to facts, bro. This game is dope. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Facts. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins. Is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, 
Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not... If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Lumos. Nice work. Rebellion. Protego. Rebellion. Sebastian, you strong competition. Well done. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be... Sebastian so Sallow. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Mm. Good. Sounds like Pleasure a setup to me. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. interested. Till next time. <sighs> Rebellion. 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 <laughs> what are you up to now? Rebellion. Lumos.
Rebellion. Lumos. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. <laughs> Lumos. Rebellion. Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Let's go. Hot fire. Rebellion. Hmm, potions class. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of chant work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now.
Akio. 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 That is not bad. Akio. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Mm, Gryffindor. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> that is so dope. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, Akio, uh, think of this like gobstones. Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I ah, see now, now I want to show off. That is how it's done. Akio. Fuck. Don't lose your composure. Watch this. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Mm. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Yes. 
Fuck! I lost. That wasn't cool. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, Hogwarts. <sighs> but it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Bronner wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Rebellion! You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Vasily. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit... Distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Alright gang, so on that note man, we hit the two hour mark, stood up all night trying to figure out how to bring you guys the game a little bit earlier, I'm going to proceed to take a small nap, <sighs> I'll be back at 3 o'clock, stream with you guys again, 
I'm super excited. I love the game. Let's see where this adventure takes us as a community. Don't forget to hit the on the follow button. Love you guys. And I believe I will be multi-streaming at 3 o'clock to Twitch and YouTube. On that note, I love you guys. I'll be right back at 3. One.